A lot of questions have been raised about hypersensitivity in equestrian competition following the disqualification of the American horse Sapphire at the FEI World Cup final. Dr. Paul Farrington, as an equine vet with 35 years experience, can you explain what hypersensitivity is in a horse? Yes, indeed. All horses have normal sensitivity or sensation, and that actually just means touch, just as we have the sensation of touch. And there are normal limits of sensation and sensitivity. Hypersensitivity is a situation where the degree of sensitivity rises above that normal limit. Hypersensitivity is painful for the horse. So what is the difference between hypersensitivity and hypersensitization? Hypersensitivity, as I say, is when the normal sensitivity is raised above normal limits. And that can happen through very innocent reasons, for example, through a sting or through a self-inflicted wound or bruise. Whereas hypersensitization uh, is the situation where hypersensitivity is abnormally produced through artificial means. Can you describe the procedures used to test for hypersensitivity and hypersensitization? Yes, we have a well-developed protocol for this now. Um, the process of normal examination is a combination of the use of a thermography camera to detect heat patterns on the horse's legs, and we can then detect what the normal pattern is and what an abnormal pattern is. This is used in combination with a complete clinical examination of the front of all four legs from the fetlock down to the hoof. And we can then detect any abnormality which may be present. This tells us whether there is true hypersensitivity there. In terms of detecting hypersensitization, sometimes something may be found in a clinical examination. But that is extremely unlikely. So any horse that is found to be hypersensitive is then subjected to medication control program testing by the means of taking urine and blood samples and also taking leg swabs to detect any prohibited substance. Whenever we are carrying out the testing, it is always done by at least two experienced equine veterinary surgeons. And in the event of hypersensitivity being found, we always record that reaction on video.